What's good people? We back with another video today in the Lions franchise. And I apologize for the hiatus. Had some issues with my laptop. Um I had to update my laptop and sadly I lost video of our game against the Jets, which was supposed to be the next game. After we beat the Vikings, we played the Jets and it was an incredible game and I was so excited to upload it and of course in the in in the midst of updating my laptop i lost the footage it was an incredible game we ended up squeaking out a 28 27 victory scoring 14 points in less than two minutes at the end of the game and how it happened was we forced a field goal so they went up 27 14 and khalif raymond returned a touchdown insane so we're down 27 21 and then we recover an onside kick and then we score a touchdown with about like 32 seconds left to take a 28-27 lead and ended up winning the game. It was incredible. Jamal Williams had an 80-yard rushing touchdown in this game. Um, man, I'm so annoyed I lost this footage. Also, I forgot, DJ Chark was out. He had missed uh, because of a practice injury. So we updated Bo, Bo Melton. We upgraded him to the active roster and he went crazy. Nine for 117 and a touchdown. Um, he's going to be... Uh, a staple of our passing game from here on out after that performance but uh yeah take a look at our schedule man we started the year three and seven but since the loss of the giants we have not lost we've gone on a four game winning streak and this game against the panthers is a huge game because if you take a look at the standings here the vikings are the one seed cardinals are the two seed um the cowboys are three and then at four are the New Orleans Saints. And of course, the Packers have the five seed, the Niners six. The seven seed is wide open though. Right now, the Bucks are the seven seed, but the Bucks, Falcons, Panthers, and ourselves, we are all seven and seven. So that final seed is there for the taking. And against the Panthers, we have to beat this team because they're another team that's seven and seven. So this is the highest of high stakes football, the biggest game of the season. Uh, by quite quite a large margin. So it's going to be interesting, man. I, I, I can't wait uh, for you guys to see this game. Um, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty awesome. Not going to lie. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still annoyed that we that I lost that Jets game. But this, these are the playoff standings right now. Haven't really talked up the, uh, the AFC that much. Just been focused on the NFC. We'll talk about the AFC uh, probably once the season's over and, uh, you know, look at all the stats and all this stuff. But for now, we're focused on the Panthers. Baker Mayfield's had a pretty solid season this year. 23 scores, 11 interceptions. But of course, Christian McCaffrey is the guy. He's the guy we need to focus on. We need to stop to increase our chances of winning this football game. That's that's for sure. But they also have a pair of pretty solid receivers, DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson both have speed both have good hands this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun one man the Panthers also are coming off a loss they lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers last week and of course we had that come from behind victory against the Jets so momentum is on our side but we are in Carolina and this season we have notoriously struggled on the road so let's see what happens man it's black versus white it's good versus evil it's lions versus panthers baby the end of the season is approaching we still don't know if we'll make the playoffs if we'll miss it but here we are the game is underway as we kick it off to the carolina panthers and they will return this to about the 23 yard line and out comes their offense led by of course a former number one overall draft choice by the Cleveland Browns, Baker Mayfield. Second out and eight here for the Carolina Panthers. They run a mesh concept, but Baker's going downfield and he has a wide open DJ Moore for a first down. That's a great start to this drive approaching midfield for the Carolina Panthers. Second out and 10. Baker actually going to keep it himself on a quarterback draw. You got to be kidding me. And he doesn't slide. Baker loves to show off his toughness. That's a first down carry. 
for Baker Mayfield. The Panthers calling all the stuff, going all, all out on this one. And up to Christian McCaffrey, and he didn't get much running room last week against the Steelers, just 73 yards, though he did score a touchdown. We have to stop him. It's third down and nine here for the Panthers, and Baker throws a dangerous pass. It falls incomplete, and that will bring out the field goal unit. And the Panthers will go up 3-0. Out comes Jared Goff, DJ Chark in this offense. That has just been phenomenal these past couple weeks. Here's the first down to hand off to DeAndre Swift, and he'll find a lane. Had a pretty solid game, all things considered, with 91 yards and a touchdown last week. Sadly, we can show you that. Throw down to one here, hand up to Jamal Williams, who also had a phenomenal game last week with over 100 yards and a rushing touchdown. First down and 10. Goff, play fake here. He's going to step up in the pocket, throw downfield. This is one on one coverage with Shark, and he just overshoots it. Here's a third down and long here. Lions got to convert. They don't want to fall behind too early. And. As the clock is winding down, they're forced to call a timeout. Looked like Goff was kind of confused, didn't, didn't like what he saw on the field. It's the third down and, and nine. Goff off his back foot, complete to Chark, and he's close. And they're going to give him the first down. His first catch of the day, DJ Chark. I expect him to catch a lot more. Here's another third down coming up for the Lions. Again, we got to convert here. Goff, another short pass underneath. This is Bo Melton, and he's short of the sticks. That's fourth down and one, but in a game like this, where all the marbles are on the line here, I have a feeling Dan Campbell is gonna go for this, and it seems like he will, although five seconds on the clock. They do get it off in time. Goff, quick pass to Amon Ross St. Brown, and he'll make a tough catch, and it's a first down. Lions continuing to move down the field. Here's Jared Goff again going downfield. Bo Melton one-on-one -on -one coverage and it's knocked away. Incomplete and now Jonah Jackson is shaken up for the Lions. Starting left guard who has missed some time this year. Here's another third down and instead of converting he's a sack down. Jared Goff is by Brian Burns, one of the best young pass rushers in the league today, and Panay Sewell never stood a shot. Absolutely dusted Panay Sewell. Just, Panay Sewell is so good, but he's due for one of those every, like, every other week. I don't want to say every week, but every other week he'll just get dusted one time and, and end a drive. But shout out to our punter. How about Jack Fox? Putting that down at the two-yard line. Great pun. Backing up the Carolina Panthers offense deep in their own territory. First and ten. Hand up to Christian McCaffrey, and he'll get them out of their own end zone. Solid run. And uh, they just said that Jonah Jackson is cramping up. Nothing too serious, and we do expect him to come back into the lineup. Here's a third down and four for the Panthers. Pass underneath Tommy Trumbull. And he'll get some extra yardage. Nice catch after a run after catch rather for Tommy Trumbull second out for the Panthers Baker downfield and it's complete to Robbie Anderson his first catch of the game and it's a pretty solid game pick up a 20 yards another third down here for the Panthers Baker he's got time he's gonna run for it here and Baker again picks up a big game with his legs and again doesn't doesn't slide, thankfully doesn't fumble for the Panthers, but a first down to the 30 yard line. But moving on, it's a third down and 11 here. And they're just gonna screen it here for McCaffrey. He had space, had blockers, but the blockers didn't really do much. And this will be well shy of a first down and they're gonna kick another field goal. Lions offense back on the field, down six nothing. In the second quarter here. Jared Goff going to pass underneath. That's DeAndre Swift, who is a better pass catcher than he gets credit for, and he'll pick up a first down here. Second and 10 now for the Lions. Four-man rush by the Panthers. Picked up nicely by the Lions, and Goff throws a dime downfield to TJ Hawkinson. His first grab of the game, and it's a first down pass midfield. 
Second and five. Blitz sent by the Panthers. Picked up nicely. Goff, dangerous throw, but it's caught by DJ Chark. And he makes a great play. Catch after run. Or run after catch. I keep saying that. First down for the Lions. Look at this throw. Dangerous. But somehow complete. Third down and three here for the Lions at the 17-yard line. Five wide. Goff going to go downfield again. This is Chark in the corner of the end zone. And they say he doesn't come down with it, but it looked like he did. Let's take another look at this here. DJ Chark in the slot. One-on-one -on -one coverage with Marquis Blair, the safety. And for a safety, he does pretty well running with DJ Chark step for step. Goff throws a perfect pass. In the corner of the end zone, the only place Chark could get it. And it looks like both feet are in, ball secured. I don't know, man. That that looks like a catch to me. And Coach Campbell is actually going to challenge this play. play is under and yeah, man, it looks like both feet are in. The ball secured. Ball doesn't flail. His feet, you know, he tiptoes in the corner. That looks like a catch to me, man. Let's see what these refs have to say. And it is overturned. After review the play, ruling on the field is reversed. The call is reversed, and it is a touchdown 17 yard score to DJ Chark, and the Lions will take the lead as the first half is approaching its end. Panthers back on the field now. Here's another short pass to Tommy Tremble. A lot of mesh concepts here for the Panthers. Third down and three, pass outside. Nice catch, that's Rashard Higgins. Former teammate also of Baker on the Cleveland Browns and he'll follow Baker to the Panthers and that's his first catch of the game. Now it's another downfield shot, DJ Moore. First down for the Panthers to the 40 yard line. Two minute warning is here. Panthers have a first down and 10 at the 40. Trying to get some points and Baker Mayfield is intercepted. He's picked off. That's Mike Hughes and he's gonna go the other way. No one's gonna catch him as he waltzes into the end zone for a pick six. And he does his dance in the end zone. Does the Dougie as the Detroit Lions are up. They are one half away from a potential playoff spot. One half. A beautiful, beautiful interception return for a touchdown right before halftime. And Brian Johnson, our kicker, will knock this one through and it's a 14-6 ball game. Aiden Hutchinson dapping up Mike Hughes. Man, what a huge play. No pun intended. Panthers trying to get some points back on the on the board here before halftime. They'll pass short. Second and three coming up. Baker has time, but eventually that time's gonna run out, and it's Aiden Hutchinson on the sack. Lined up as a defensive tackle on that play. He bulldozes the left guard and gets a sack anyway. Third down and 12 now. Baker drops back too far and Hutch lined outside this time. Gets a sack. Back to back Aiden Hutchinson sacks. And the Lions are actually going to try to score some points here. Jared Goff throws a nice throw to Bo Melton on the sidelines. They only have one timeout as I had to call a couple timeouts earlier. First down and 10. Goff rolling to his right and he's sacked. Oh, we didn't need that. Second down at 20, had to call the last timeout right there. And Goff, another dangerous throw, but it's caught by Bo Melton. Third down and nine here, Goff play fakes. He's got a man, will open its Chark and he sails it. He had Chark open to continue the drive, instead he sails it. And that will pretty much just take us to halftime, folks. 14-6, the Lions came on strong towards the end of that second quarter. 
and as we take a look at the other games we're focused on of course the saints and the browns the saints are down right now which is good for us the giants are tied with the vikings we need the giants to lose and then of course the eagles play the cowboys later on and the bucks play the cardinals later on so we won't know what happens with those two games This is Khalif Raymond to return as we are underway in the second half. And Khalif Raymond's got, this, got a step. Khalif Raymond is caught from behind, though. And it looked like he was going to go, but instead he's caught from behind. But the Lions offense is back on the field. Second nine and eight here for the Lions. This is a pass underneath to Bo Melton, and he's had a pretty productive game so far. A lot of catches for Bo Melton. Third and two here, handoff to DeAndre Swift, and he'll find a lane for a first down. Tackle down right at midfield. Third down to four here, though, moving on, and Goff throws complete to Hawkinson, but he fumbles the football, and it's recovered by Shaq Thompson. Was he down? I don't know if he was down or not. I got to take another look at this. Let's take a look here. Pass to Hawk, and he's... Oh, it did look like the ball came out. Let's take a look here as we're driving too. This was a productive drive and Hawk, the ball is out as his knee's down. That looks like it, it's going to stand and it does. The Panthers get a break here. And Baker throws a strike downfield to Robbie Anderson. And the Panthers, just like that, are in Detroit territory. First down and 10 to 47. Baker going to hand off to Christian McCaffrey. And McCaffrey bulldozes past Alex Anzalone. And one of his better runs of the day. Pick up a nine yards to the 38 yard line. McCaffrey has not gotten going this game. Which is a large reason why the Panthers only have six points here. But they're getting a lot of cheap yardage on these underneath routes. As the Lions just have no answer for these short passes. First down to 10, blitz sent, but again, Baker passed short underneath and it's caught from, or by Tommy Treble. And I'll pick up a first down in the red zone now are the Panthers. First and 10 at the 18. Baker again, another quick pass. And he finds his man Rashard Higgins down to the one yard line. Blitz sent again, Baker again, another short, quick pass. And the Lions just have no answer for these passes. First and goal pass underneath, caught for the touchdown, Robbie Anderson. Beautiful drive by the Panthers. Baker, a perfect six for six. And just no answer for those short passes. A great adjustment by these Panthers after getting bludgeoned by Sacks at the end of the first half. And Baker finds Tremble again underneath, quick pass. And they tie the game, and Coach Campbell is furious. 14-14, Lions got to get back. Got to get back in it after that turnover. And Goff going to go right back to TJ Hawkinson. That's got to feel good for Hawk. Get his mind back into this football game. Second out of three, handoff to DeAndre Swift. And he's got a sp some space. Finds a lane and a nice run first down to the 38-yard line. We need to get the run game going if we want to be successful in this game. Goff throwing downfield and he's nearly intercepted. And that's a fourth down. And I blame this on Bo Melton. Look at all the space he has if he just cuts in. And instead he rounds out his route instead of straightening down. And that lets the corner get in space to potentially pick it off. Thankfully he didn't. And the Lions are going to go for this here. Fourth and five. Tight throw to Chark and he'll get enough for first down. Panthers fans upset at that call, but it's complete and the Lions stay on the field. It's another third down here. Goff, under pressure, throws, dangerous pass off his back foot, he's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn, the former 8th overall draft pick. Makes a huge play for the Panthers. Working on DJ Chark, and again, I kind of blame Chark on this route. 
He's got space, and instead he he runs backwards to let D, uh, JC Horn get in front of him, man. That's a bad route. And now it's another handoff to Christian McCaffrey, and another nice run for McCaffrey as he stiff arms the initial defender, picks up eight yards. Second down and ten yards. The fourth quarter is here. Tie game, 14 apiece, and Baker drops back too far. And he's sacked by Julian Alquara and Aiden Hutchinson. Third and 18 setting up for these Panthers. Baker has time, rolls to his right, and sails this one out of bounds. The Lions hold after the interception, and Goff and company are going to be back on the field here on third and 12, though, in danger of going three and out. Less than 10 minutes left in the game. Goff has time, steps up, throws a strike down field to DJ Chark. And Chark once again converts when we need him most. Got to give Goff props, though. That's a beautiful throw. In between three defenders, DJ Chark finds the soft spot in his own. Another third down here, and clock is winding down. They go right to left, and Goff still audibly. I don't think they're... Oh. I have no clue what they wanted to do there. Panthers send a blitz in it. It gets there. Marquise Blair is the free rusher, and the Lions have to punt the football. Bad, bad play on third down. I guess they didn't want to call a timeout. But look at Christian McCaffrey. Big time run. His best run of the game so far. And it'll put them in Detroit territory. We can't lose sight of Christian McCaffrey now. He's the best player. We got to keep him covered. But at the same time, we're, pushing, we're putting so much emphasis on McCaffrey that everybody else is getting open underneath. And that's another first down for Rashard Higgins on another short pass. Third down and five for Baker. He's got all day. St still in the pocket. Baker all day to throw. No pressure. And he finds a wide open McCaffrey. Oh, no. Panthers take the lead with four minutes left in this game. And this is very, very dangerous territory. And Coach Campbell knows it. 21-14. Four minutes left in the game. Jared Goff, what do you got for us? Here's a good start. Pass underneath to Bo Melton. And he'll get a first down. To the 42-yard line. Man in motion here. I think it is DJ Chark. Here's a first down and 10. Pass underneath once again to Bo Melton. And Melton will pick up about eight yards. Second down and two here. Play fake. Goff is going downfield and he had a man open and he missed him. Bo Melton was open and Goff just overshot it. Here's a third and two handoff to Swifty and he's short. Fourth and one coming up. I form set. Handoff to Jamal Williams, and he'll have enough for a first down. Two-minute warning is here. Lions in Panther territory at the 46. Blitz sent by the Panthers, and they get another free rusher. It's Brian Burns again. A loss at 12. Second and 22 coming up. Goff. Underneath passes caught DeAndre Swift. Setting up a third and 13. Less than a minute left in the game. What do you have? Jared Goff. Downfield pass. Dangerous throw. But it's caught for a first down. DJ Chark and the Lions will call timeout. Two more timeouts left. 51 seconds left. Pass downfield to St. Brown. He's caught it. Two defenders on him. Doesn't matter. I'm on St. Brown. Huge grab. Haven't called his name at all, but he makes a play when it matters most. Second and 10, one timeout for the Lions. Goff downfield, Hawk makes the grab. Again, two defenders there. Catch and traffic is made by Hawkinson. First and goal at the four. Goff has time, has a man. DJ Shark, touchdown. 
he does it again. He does it again. DJ Shark, our best player this season, makes a play when we need him most. And Brian Johnson, fingers crossed, he knocks down the PAT. And with less than 30 seconds left, it's 21 21. And that is the end of regulation. We are going to overtime, and the Lions have won the toss and they elect to receive to open the game. Second down and 10 for the Lions. Momentum all on our side here. Goff, audibling here, he sees something he likes. Single high safety. We gotta figure, he's going downfield. Goff, downfield. Shark is open, he beat his man, but it's tipped by the safety and Coppa. JC Horn, no! That is a huge run back the other way. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. The ball tipped by the safety at the last second. Chark beat his man. And now Baker another short pass and this is Ian Thomas. And he's gonna get a huge gain after the catch. Oh no. Suddenly all the momentum went to the Panthers after that interception. First and 10 at the 14. The Lions defense is shook. Pass underneath, caught. Robbie Anderson down to the seven. Second down and two. Baker, quick pass again. Rashard Higgins down at the one. Oh no. First and goal at the one. Blitz sent, not picked up, and it's caught by Robbie Anderson. Oh no, it's caught by DJ Moore. I'm flustered. Roughing the passer, so it doesn't matter what the flag is. And the Lions lose a game they absolutely needed to win. 27 21 is your final from Carolina. The Panthers beat the Lions. And as we take a look at the standings here, everybody else that we needed to lose lost. But we lost as well. And the Panthers now take sole possession of the seventh seed. Unbelievable. Absolutely heartbreaking, guys, that we lost that game. I don't even know what to say. We have to win out now. And even if we win out, we still might not, might not make it. We play the 3-12 and Chicago Bears. That should be a, a win. But in the division, you never know. That's the video, guys. Hope you liked it. Make sure you leave a like. Comment down below what you thought of the video. Heartbreaker, man. But on to the next one. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.